Hello everybody and welcome back to TA2's Thanksgiving weekend here at Talladega Super Speedway. It is race number two of five this weekend and today the Pokemon NASCAR series drivers take part in this event. 36 of the best Pokemon NASCAR drivers compete in an all-out exhibition race and this one has the Gen 6 cars with the exception that these cars are different numbers, completely different sets car set I got from Gr Griff Dog by the way his summer showdown car set I'm using for this race thought I put it to good use in this one so you'll see the best of the best 36 of the best Pokemon NASCAR drivers face off in an exhibition race here in the second weekend I mean second race I should say in Thanksgiving weekend here at Talladega on the pole for the Pokemon NASCAR race is, jo is Joseph Lombard in the number 37 and Elijah Gordon in the 8 is on the front row. Row 2 has Luke Walker and 09 Benjamin Miles. O'Neill Balvin make up row 3 with Abby Sachs, 98. Then DJ Kirker and the 14, William Brock. Then Jacob Lawler and James Richardson. Followed by Alex Hawkins and Cody Smart. Then John Arnett and Joseph Romanuk. Then Aiden, Aiden Milliken. And Hargel Alonso in his return to the series. He did compete a couple seasons ago, but he is back for this one race deal. Grayson Acevedo and Josh Crash. Mitchell Carter and Emmanuel Harnett. John Andrews and Ethan Wicken. Paul Minnick and Colin Francis. Sam Rogers and Zach Goldbeck. Nikki Maxwell and defending champion Kermika Jazen, the second two-time champion in the series. Pichu and Leia Walker. Joshua Sacully, Johnny Garner, Amari Stoudemire Jr., Dylan Thoreau, Zachary Fitzwater, and finally, Annie Thomas. And the other two-time champion in this field is, of course, John Arnett. So it'll be the first time, this is the first race to, to compete. This will be the first race ever to have two two-time champions compete together against each other. And it'll be very exciting to see that here in the Talladega Exhibition Race. There's Lombard and 2SC4 on the pole, one of the fan favorites from last season. Hope, hopefully he makes his return to this season, season 28. But in the meantime, let's take you to trackside for the command to fire up race two. Drivers, start your engines. roll off to begin the race race one had some pretty good um, moments one caution and a good finish let's see if we can top that here in race number two and it looks like one car is slow that's Mitchell Carter off to a bad start the 18 already on pit road on his way to pit road wow disaster for the 18 to begin the race He's going to make it safely onto pit road with no problem, but man, what a bad start for the 18. Last time we had one car that didn't make it through in the starting position, and um, apparently just, yeah, didn't, fit, didn't start that race last time. So Carter doesn't look like it's too serious, but might be something in the hood that went wrong as we're going green in race two at Talladega. This one is a 20 lap race. Last time was a 10 lap race. Now this is 20. It's only gonna get longer from here. Lombard leads, Miles a second. Let's hope we avoid the big one today. There's Lombard, who was a winner last season. He had one win in New Hampshire, if I could recall. Miles didn't win last season, but I think. But he's back in the lead here in the exhibition race. William Brock runs third. Had a great season uh, in 27. Also a winner. Was a winner. A race winner. Uh, uh, last season. And he's going to lead the first lap. 
Brock leads lap one. James Richardson now leads in the 91. That's a Joe Gibbs car, by the way. Junior Motorsports makes its way with a couple cars for this race only. And oh, one is one of them, by the way. And that's Alex Hawkins driving that machine. I think Hawkins was the winner back in the other Thanksgiving and the ex in last season's exhibition race at Boston. Aiden Milliken in front in the 54, and he's running for Joe Gibbs, believe it or not. So is the 91. 36, Grayson Acevedo is running for front row. Front row is funding the 36 car for this race. And the 52, John Andrews, running for Ken Schrader's team. He's the leader now. The lead, by the way, lap two went to Grayson. 52 running under Ken, under Ken Schrader's team. Colin Francis is another one of the Joe Gibbs cars. Sam Rogers running. Sports. Roth has its own car. The big one strikes. Oh, wow. Already the big one strikes. That's Talladega. Caution's out. Down to these cars now. A lot of cars with damage. First lap, the lap's going to Sam Rogers. Let's see what happened in the big one. Big crash. Let's see what happened. Well, didn't get so good. There's Joseph Romanuk. Romanuk got sandwiched with Avi Sachs in the 54. The 72 got a little damage as well. I thought I'd point out the 72 is a Penske ride. The 26 is from Stuart Haas. And there's the 09 wrecking. I think the Bill Elliott's team, he's running with the 09. Peach, who's running under Penske with the number 12, the same number he usually runs in the series. But with new sponsor, um, with a new sponsor and look. Stoudemire Jr. is involved. Another one of the um, cars um, from Stuart Haas. Pete Chu's in. There's the William Byron 9 of Zach Fitzwater. KBM is sponsoring their car. Leah Walker running independent on her own in the 97. O'Neill Balvin running under, I think, from the Arctic Tech team, if I'm not mistaken. And Goldbeck's running under Jay Blaney's team. Josh Crash, a little damage. He's running under the um, Roush Fenway sponsorship. So is Harjal Alonzo. And the 01, of course, I mentioned, Junior Motorsports. Lombard, the pole starter, might have gone damage. He's the front row car. And Elijah Gordon was one of the Nemco Motorsports cars. He gets involved. A lot of drivers, big names involved in the first rack. Wow. There'll be pit stops underway. Who's out first? Well, it looks like it's Rogers out first. How many drivers are out? Ton. Oh boy. Hawkins, Stommeyer, Fitzwater, Smart, Richardson, Brock, Romanek, and the Walkers are out. Both Walkers are out of the race. Wolbeck is a lap down. Sam Rogers, your leader. And now leads over defending champion Kermika Jazz. We're back to green. And Goldbeck's just a sitting duck down there. Oh boy, this is going to get crazy. Kermika Jazz, by the way, wins the 90. <laughs> Walsh machines in the number 90 machine. Usually that car is the all-star car Kyle Busch ran in the uh, Charlotte race this season. He changed his number from 18 to 75 in the all-star race to the m ms 75th anniversary. Now, it's the first and possibly only time here in NR Town 3 in the NR Town 3 race. Joshua Sicully. Second place now in the 35. Front row has like three or four cars in the field, all trying to win. 
DJ Kirker, another the third and last of the um, Stuart Haas teams. Dylan Thoreau getting his 70 from Chip Ganassi. The um, 82 Ethan Wicken. <laughs> Ethan Wicken, by the way, I just wanted to show you that he's running unsponsored with a small team. Can't recall which, but. Johnny Garner in the 96. Thor Sport Racing actually having a one race deal in this series with the 96 on their behalf. So Garner trying to win for the truck team Thor Sport. Anybody else? Oh, now the, oh wow, the 03 leads. The 03 is Jacob Lawler. He's running with RCR. And the 92 Emmanuel Harnett running the Jeff Gordon's inspired scheme for Hendrick. For Hendrick, we all know that these drivers are going to be going to call, that most of these drivers are going to be in different teams in season 28. This might be their test drive for that said team. Now lap traffic going to affect the leaders. The 52 Andrews pulls away. Oh boy, one car is loose. Oh wow, Sam Rogers and Grayson Acevedo under the apron. They made it through. And now the field separates because of the 93 holding up the field. With just 10 laps to go. Well, that is not gonna be a good run here. Goldbeck finally gets cleared by everybody, but he separates the field. Makes things more interesting now. Up, up in front. It is Maxwell versus Andrews. Maxwell in the 87 Nemco machine. Very rarely Nemco runs in the... Well, they don't run in the series much anymore. This is their, this is their one return of the series, by the way. So they're back for this wood race deal. Look at Jacob Waller getting drafting help. He uses it and he gets there in the front. Waller to the lead in the 03. Ethan Wittkin, 82. No he has no sponsor, but he is still running with the big boys. Eight to go at Date Talladega. Kermika Jazz and defending champion trying to win. And she also became the first driver to win a championship without a win in the series. But winning here in this race at Talladega would mean a lot. It would cap off her. It would be the perfect ending to her championship season. Now the draft is coming in. This is going to be fun. Sakali second and third. Now Maxwell's running in. By the way, only three female drivers, if I'm not mistaken, are in this race. No, four, I should say. Because Thomas. Wow, three of the, f no, four of the five female drivers in this race are still running. Jazz, uh, Jazzin, Maxwell, Thomas. Jazzin, Maxwell, Thomas, and um, Leia. Well, Leia's not running anymore. So, four drivers, I should say, if I'm not mistaken. Gullen Francis, front seven to go. And Emmanuel Arnett runs second. Third is Annie Thomas. Now Francis gets some a little bit of a little bit of leg room. Now he's pulling away from everybody. You don't really see that in um you don't usually see that um in Talladega, but I guess somehow, some way, found the magic and he is using it to his advantage. But Lawler, he is going to close in very quickly. 
now Lawler might have a fight in him. Let's see if he does get the fight. Five laps to go here at Talladega and Lawler leading, making the pass on Colin Francis. Now second place is um, Annie Thomas. And now 3-1, look at the 96, Johnny Gardner. Johnny Gardner making his way to the front. Incredible, Johnny Garner makes his way to the front of the pack as we see drivers dropping to Pitt. And now Pit Stop's gonna play a factor here to decide who wins this race. Four to go. Ninety six Garner leads. How long though will he have to come down Pear Road? It's going to be fun. Here we go. Side by side battle with Francis in the ninety six. Will they pit though at this time? And they will pit. Now lead is going to Maxwell. The lead goes to Nikki Maxwell in front. And uh, I look back at the stats, Cody Hagen was the winner last season of the exhibition race back at Boston. I thought it was Alex Hawkins, but it was Cody Hagen that won. My bad. Maxwell leading with three to go. Doesn't look like she has enough fuel to finish this race, but she could use the strategy and hope for the best. DJ Kirker, second and third is John Andrews. Here we go. They'll come down at this time. So the top two pit. The other driver, and the top three, I should say, are gonna pit. We'll see how the positions change if they, if anything changes. Maxwell's out. Maxwell comes out of pit road. Will she have enough time to catch up to others? Paul Minnick gonna come down pit road too. He was on the lead lap too. Still gonna go under pit road speed. Who's gonna make the lead with two to go? still has it but barely the 87 with Nikki Maxwell leading here comes the 96 fourth place now the leader Johnny Gardner is your leader former champion like I said this is the first race where we had two we have two two-time champions competing in the same track but Gardner is one champ has one championship, but he's racing like he's in his prime. Right now. Just a lap away from the win. He's using pit strategy to his advantage right now. White flag will be in the air for Johnny Gordon. Here we go. One lap to go, but this is Talladega. Anything could happen. Um, entry Thor Sports running in this race and they're making their name for themselves they might not be in the series uh, uh, for the long for a long they might not be in the series I should say but they're showing that they have as much power as all the other guys final turn and this is a battle for second place Colin France is gonna get second but Johnny Gardner Going to add to his resume an exhibition series win here at Talladega. He'll come off the final turn. The former Pokemon NASCAR champion will take the checkers here at Talladega.
Johnny Gardner is your winner in the second exhibition race of the Pullman NASCAR Series here on Thanksgiving weekend. And what a big, what a way to celebrate Thanksgiving, which happens to be today, by the way. Gardner wins on Thanksgiving Day. That's a nice gift. And that'll wrap up our uh, second race of the weekend. Still three more races left. And they'll all be from NASCAR Series. So here are the results on the left of your screen. You can find where you finished on the left. And one car, like I said, the 18. Wow, the 18 never got going. So we, we'll say the 18 finished 36th. Yeah, this doesn't really mean a lot, but we're still having a race there. And uh, that's your results. That's it from here at Talladega. And Johnny Garner has won our Pokemon NASCAR exhibition race here on Thanksgiving weekend. We will see you tomorrow for the truck race from the very same track. So you don't want to miss any of these next three races. They will be exciting. We will see you next time tomorrow for the truck race.